Hello, everybody. Welcome to Roll em If You Got Them. I am Dakota, as always, joined with by Carl. Hi, everybody. Dakota's back. I don't have to do this by myself anymore. That was terrible. <laughs> and in today's video, I'm going to be slap chopping a Space Marine, uh, basically Blood Angels Red. Uh, and they're making him a Blood Angel here. Uh, so as you can see, uh, starting out with just pretty simple and straightforward Blood Angels red contrast paint. Um, as you can tell, too, my model's pretty white. Uh, I, I go pretty hard into the slap chop method here of, you know, that last highlight. <laughs> it, it's not even almost like a highlight. Like, he's pretty... Fairly, pretty fairly white. But the, the problem that I run into is like with these guys is they're very flat paneled. So it's just like, what really is the edge that you want? Yeah. The most red. Well, yeah, for, for like chaos models or, you know, orcs or whatever like that, super heavy gradient, like it makes a lot more sense. But dudes that just have like a basic shoulder pad, it's like, does that really heavy gradient like does it really make sense like i get how you can do do it to make it look like oh like the top part is highlighted almost like zenithal i guess mm -hmm. yeah yep. um but yeah no i get yeah. it yeah and honestly too even like the, the space marines there's probably a lot easier ways to get these guys done quickly other than slap chopping but hey like i i don't really slap chop a lot and i got a bunch of space marines so here we are um Second color, as you can see going through, I just picked out some, I believe it was Black Legion. I'm hitting like the like body glove almost underarm where it's like the joints, um, like the jetpack vents there, and then the weapon basically casings. Uh, pretty much just making them black. I mean, that's what they look like for, for them. Uh, nothing really too crazy here with them. This Black Legion is pretty... Uh, I don't know right, what the right word is. It's not very translucent because um, they have Black Legion and Black Templar. I don't really like Black Contrast that much, but I do like this one that I'm using. So this, this, it, it makes it black. This is a lot more opaque. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, basically, yeah. Hit like I said. Hit the weapons. Hit the Aquila. Um, not really too many spots on this guy. Um, and then even to, as you see at the end, I do end up hitting, um, I don't know how I got black on it now, but on like the shoulder pad trim throughout the entire video, it won't be on there, but it'll be in the final shots. I end up making that black as too, because I'm just looking at him like he needed something else. Sure. And I'll pick out that trim on the shoulders and call it a day and the knee and also the right knee. I do black. Okay. Um, I go through then with Wildwood on all the like pouches and casings. I did have to clean these up a little bit. I did get a little bit of red on them. So I just went back in with like my lightest color that I used for Slap Chop, just cleaned up kind of all those red areas. And now I'm just, you know, making them brown. You got red on you, mate. Got some red there. Normally I would just go over to it, but it's real, like I said, it's real weird with these since they're very flat to not clean them up because it just, does, it just looks weird. Yeah, it's, it's a little harder to hide the mistakes probably. Yeah. And then when I was cleaning it up, you'll see I actually did hit some white in the eyes for the lenses. So I'm going to have to go back through right now. And I throw just some warp lightning green in there to give him a little bit of variation on his lenses. Um, so that they kind of stand out on the model. Yeah. Yeah. Cause with like ultramarines and stuff, a lot of times you'll see red lenses, but mm -hmm. with these dudes, you want to, you want to give the eye something to, to look at for sure. Uh -huh. Yep uh that's pretty much it for contrasting and then just kind of barrel through here i hit all of the metal areas with just some lead belcher basically one coating them because they're pretty light i mean i just try to make sure i'm neat not getting onto uh the weapons that i've already painted sure like hit the chainsword threads i hit the like motor i guess you'd call it motor casing um the, the vroom vroom go go yeah, the, the, the go go juice area. <laughs> um, I hit that. Uh and then yeah, I basically I'll spin around here and hit all the basically gun parts that aren't black already. How's this holder working out for you? You like I, this one? 
I do like it. And the first part of the video, I wasn't using it. And then I was like, I have these holders that I do have models just usually sitting in that I'm working on. And it works fantastic. Uh, I need to I need to figure out which file it was that I downloaded for this <laughs> and redo it because I've been I've been unhappy with some of my holder mm -hmm. options. And it's like I have a three D printer. The world is my oyster. Like if I don't like the holders I have, I'll get new ones. Yeah, and, and then, I, then I saw this one when editing, and I was like, "Oh, I forgot about that one." Yeah, this one it works pretty good because it's just like it's like a spin on and spin off, and it holds on pretty tight. And I have like two different sizes size for the handles mm -hmm. uh, that I'm working with here. Uh, but yeah, like like you can see, just hitting everything with a belcher. I actually, I'm thinking about it. I don't even go back through and do any washes on this dude. I just kind of go for it. Um, yeah. And then kind of here, I'm just picking out some of the gold details because this dude is a sergeant. So I just take some ret retributor armor, just try to hit that skull a little bit. And then I swing over here and hit his little like pauldron cross. Mm -hmm. And then I think I, since I have it, I'm like, eh, and I hit the gun pouch and I'm like, yeah, cool. Pick yeah, out the, the gold on the on the brown for sure. Yeah, makes it pop. But yeah, I mean, there he is. It didn't, and as you can see here, I already have like the shoulder trim done. I think it just adds a little bit more to him. Yeah, I, I think the shoulder yeah. trim was um, certainly necessary. Is it? Is that also black? Yeah, it's the same. It's the same black I was using before. I just went right over everything. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, it came together pretty well. Uh, this is one of the first ones, as you kind of see in the background. There's some other guys getting slap chopped. This is one of the first ones I did. I thought this red worked out really well uh it didn't really streak too much sometimes i think with the contrast on these flat panels you get like that weird streaking this one didn't streak that much which i was really happy about yeah um, I, I like i like the looks of this one a lot it's uh yeah. i know you, you mentioned something about some of the other ones not looking very good but i like mm -hmm. this one um and when watching, stay tuned. We got kind of a whole array of colors coming over this um, six weeks of slap chop that we have going. I know Dakota's just hitting some of the basic uh, power armor colors. Kind of get those into the library here. But red, blue, green. What else you got? You're going to try to slap chop bone, right? That's mm -hmm. on the list. Yep. Uh, yep, that is on the list um yeah red blue green bone and then i'm gonna do one guy that's in like a black and white and then i'm gonna do a painting black which isn't slap chopped uh kind of hitting those basics and what, what you need to do a few of the videos you're gonna be like well, what the hell happened here and it might not be completely slap chopped but there's gonna be an aspect of like slap chopping where you're gonna sure. see it, like this is what it is so awesome well uh thanks everyone for checking it out stay tuned the upcoming weeks um we got lots more slap chop coming. Slap, slap. Help me here. Some slap chop. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and uh, a, cu a couple of cool projects coming. I have, um, I got three bigger ones I'm kind of working on, and then a couple of uh, smaller ones too. But yeah, uh, thanks for checking out the video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.